So here I am using Word on a Mac and I want to put in a watermark which could be some text or a picture or logo, something like that. So you've got it in the background, might say draft or confidential, something like that, or it could be your company logo. So as I said, I'm working on a Mac. This is Word 2011, similar on other versions of uh, Word on the Mac. If you want to know how to do it on Windows, I've got a tutorial for that and there is a link below this video to take you there if you want to know how to do it on Windows. Although once you're in the dialog box for Windows, you'll see actually it's the same, but it's actually got some shortcuts on the Windows version as well. So go and check that out if you're a Windows user, or maybe you just want to have a look anyway. So what you want to do here is go into insert, choose watermark, and we're going to start off by just putting in some text. So I'm going to choose text here in my dialog box. You'll see they're in basically three sections, no watermark, picture, and text. We're going to come back to picture in a moment. Click on text and you'll see that it's now highlighted this one here that says ASAP and it's showing you a sample here. There are some built-in ones such as confidential, copy, do not copy, draft. Let's choose draft and you'll see it changes it to draft there. Before I look at the font and the size and those kind of things and the transparency, over here you'll see orientation. It's going just horizontally straight across. I might want it going at an angle like that diagonally. So you've really only got two options, horizontal or diagonal. You can change the color, so you can change it to a different one. You can adjust the transparency as well, so you can make it more or less. So you can make it different levels of being see-through. I'm gonna just tone it down just a little bit because I don't want it to dominate over the top of the text. You can make it bold or italic or both just by clicking on those. You can set the size if you like. Over here, I'm going to leave it set to auto. I find auto works very well. It's got this font here. I'm going to change it to Calibri just because I feel like changing it. And then I'm going to click on OK. And you'll see it has now put it in. I normally quite honestly go for a grey kind of background, but uh, you may want it. So there you go. It's on all of my pages. You'll note that I've got one here that's portrait, and then halfway through I've got a landscape page. I've got a tutorial for that. Again, the link is below, so you can go and do that. Okay, so that's how you can put it in. What if you need to get rid of it? Well, you can go into Insert, choose your watermark, and you could choose No Watermark, and then simply click on OK, and it's gone. You don't have to do that if you want to make a change. You could just go and choose your other option. So back to Insert again, Watermark. I am now going to go and put a picture in. So I'm going to click on Picture. And I can go from a picture to text, it doesn't really matter. And as I said, I don't need to go back to watermark to get rid of them first. If I go to select picture, I've got some pictures here. I've got these fireworks and I've also got the Jargon Free Help logo. Let's use the Jargon Free Help logo. So let's click on insert. You can see it there. It's a bit washed out and that's deliberate. It's set to do that. There's a wash out option just here. If I untick it, you'll see it's now not washed out. So it kind of dominates a little bit over the text. So what I'm going to do is turn it to wash out because actually that's probably a better option. You don't want it overpowering the text, or maybe you do. I think personally that this is a good idea. You can always try it out because you can always click OK, see what it looks like, go back to insert, choose watermark, and then you could choose to untick wash out, click OK. Well, it depends on the picture you've got. So let's go back to insert, watermark. I'm going to choose wash out. And then the other option I've got is the scale. And again, it's on auto. I could choose what size I want it as a percentage. Let's see what happens if I make it too big. Let's click on OK. Well, I know it's going to be too big. Whoop, that should be, ah. Now you see on the Windows version, I could go up to 1,000. So let's go 600. That's not going to be too big on this. It's probably, oh, just about. But the image is in great quality. You can see it's got jagged edges there. Let's go back to insert, watermark. I'm gonna switch it back to auto and click on okay. So as I said, to get rid of it, all you need to go is go back into insert, choose watermark and choose no watermark. Oh, one thing I didn't show you was that you can actually put in whatever text you like. Let's go back to watermark. Let's go back to text. I can change that to say, jargon free help and I can have it splashed across like that. 
So there you go. That's how you can put in your own text in there as well. So that's how you can add in your own text, images, choose from preset options. You can have a watermark on the back all the way through your documents.